hey guys welcome back to another new video so recently i got one ui 7 update on my s23 ultra i haven't updated my device because i want to try something else here so as for now on one ui 6.1 i don't really have any issue it is running pretty smoothly and one ui 7 will bring some customization and few new features but before that we need to check the performance gain and the battery backup so my device is now currently 98 percent and it is running on the default settings like it is on 1080p so if i go to display section so as you can see here display is in 1080p mode and the refresh rate is in default mode so adaptive and the brightness is manually set to something here so i will do the testing first on 6.1 then i will update and try it on one ui 7.0 so i have downloaded and to the benchmark and big bench so my device is on now 98 percent it is connected to wi-fi and also dual sims are available so i don't really have any issue right now and 98 percent i will try and to the benchmark and gig bench and we'll check how much battery it drops and then we will run the test again after updating the device to one ui 7 and then we can decide actually is it worth updating the device to one ui 7 or not so let's begin let me unplug so now it's unplugged and 98 percent first of all we'll try unto the benchmark so into the benchmark by the way i never tried into the benchmark or any kind of benchmarking tool on any of my devices this is the first time i'm running these things actually so test now i don't really know how long it will take so the version i'm using here is 10 point something i will skip through this process so we are done with the benchmarking so as you can see here we got around 1.5 million scores so as you can see cpu gpu memory and ux it took around 12 to 13 minutes so let me take a screenshot done we lost around six percent battery while doing the test so as you can see here now we can run geekbench so I'm using Geekbench 6, which is the latest version for this device. Run CPU benchmark. So the result is arrived for benchmarking. So we got 1924 for single core and multi core is 4832 it ran around maybe five to six minutes and we dropped two percent of battery now we will run gpu benchmark so gpu benchmarking done as you can see we got around 7937 score we did not drop even a percent of battery because it runs around three to four minutes maybe three minutes maybe so that's all what we are getting here and as you can see here my device and now i will update my device to one ui 7 then i will do the benchmarking again so let me download the one thing is that my device is perfectly running one so after update if i get any green line you guys know that so the device is running perfectly fine no line or anything like that and my device even don't really have any dents i never drop it and there is no scratch at all so this kind of new device so i have updated the device to one us 7 and it took around 10 to 15 minutes to update the device and as you can see here the device is running well so the device got it 84 percent battery left right now so I've, i have to charge the device to 98 percent to do the all the testing and i will run the benchmark again to check the 
performance gain and the battery backup so now the battery is 98 percent now we can proceed with the benchmarking process so we will first try and do the benchmark like last time test now so last result was 1.4 million and we'll try again So the device is done with the benchmarking and we got 1.3 million which is less than the 1.6.1 the battery drain is about 6% similar to 6.1 so think about updating your device so as you can see last time we got 1.4 about 1.5 actually now we are getting about 1.3 about 1 lakhs different so which is pretty huge actually now Let's try Geekbench. We'll run CPU test first. So the device is done with the CPU benchmarking. So as you can see here, we got a little bit more score than the last one. So we got 5000 in multi core and single core is. 1900 which is a little bit more than the last one so if we check last time we got 1900 and 4800 this time it's still same 1900 and 5000 so a little bit more in multi-core score now let's try gpu benchmarking <laughs> So the GPU benchmarking is done. We got 8400, which is a little bit more than the last one. So as you can see here, we got around 7900. So we got 500 more on one UI 7. So that's good. And the battery drop is 1%, which is similar to the 1.6.1. So by far, the device is working well. No issue at all. The animations looks good. And as I haven't used the device yet, I will test the device and I will make a review video of the One UI 7 on S23 Ultra. So far, so good. No issue at all. In terms of performance, in terms of battery drain and everything, pretty much similar to old One UI 6.1. So that's all about it. If you want to update your device, you can update. You will not going to have any kind of green line. I updated my device in front of you so you can get an idea. So that's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.